Hey everyone! Today we're going to talk about simplifying and altering designs for charms. I wish I'd thought of recording this when I was working on Leafeon because they're an excellent example. Leafeon's official design has all this negative space, weird tufts and angles going on. It's not great for charms. If I was just doing art or stickers of Leafeon, it'd be fine, I'd keep with the original design. But for charms, I want to smooth down and simplify the shape. You could keep the OG design with all those tufts and still turn it, but if you're like a lot of artists who hate the turning portion, maybe you want to make a lot of these and not burn out, or maybe you're like me and you offer them to other artists to use and you want them to be simpler and easier to work with. Also look at this cute little baby in Snap, oh my god! So when it comes to Leafeon's charm design, I tilted the ears back and inwards to go for a more boxy shape. It means I can fit more into the hoop, and it won't look outrageously giant next to the other Eevees. I also got rid of that gap behind the leaf where the head ends. In this chibi-ish style, it doesn't look too bad. I instead just put in a few lines to simulate Leafeon's head tufty bits and the ears to give a bit extra detail. Those tufts under the ears are also not there, and that is literally because when I was doing the final sketches, I completely forgot they existed until I opened up images of Leafeon for this video. Oops. The only thing I could have done that would have looked pretty cool would have been to include this faux gradient on the ears. This could be managed with a lighter green satin stitch that was maybe thicker than the others, but I ended up not going for it in the end. Because I don't have footage of making the Leafeon art, I'm going to take all of this and really quickly apply it to Flareon and Jolteon to sort of go into a bit more depth and have some more examples. Flareon is also a complicated silhouette. There's all these floofy, spiky bits going on, so they'll end up smoothed down too. Okay, here's the first example of how angles affect turning. The original sketch line for the rough, where it meets the ears, is way too sharp. Acute angles are doable but they're hard to turn at such a small scale, so I went in and sort of squared off the angle so that the final charm won't be scrunched up in the corners. I then realised that the tops of the ears have the same problem and square those off too. Next, let's look at Jolteon. Where Flareon is kind of a curly jagged in the outline, Jolteon's just jagged. There's no way a three inch charm can handle all these spikes, so we'll get creative. This Funko Pop is not only adorable, but really well simplified, so I'm going to keep an eye on it as I work. Once again, I'm making sure that the angles are more obtuse. Is that the word? Obtuse? The top of the head is hard. I want it to look spiky, but also be able to hold the tags for the charms. I went back and forth for a while on how to do the spikes. Do I include some white, or just leave it yellow? And eventually I went with yellow. This time, for the rough, I went in thinking about stars with their triangular points, and I went for chunky, nearly 90 degree angle corners to make him spiky but turnable. Here's a sneak peek of the final designs before they get digitised. One of my worries for the Leafeons was that the leaf would be hard to cut out, I went back and forth between a few different shapes, but my small scissors were easy to cut with, so I stuck with this one. One thing you might notice is that the actual outline seems bigger, and the face is smaller and pulled into the center like gravity. This is because as you stuff the charm, the seam lines will pillow and the actual edge will shrink visually. So if your details are too big and too close to the edges, you might end up with some kind of scary looking faces, so that's my workaround. At the end of the day, the only really easy shapes to turn are like standard circles and squares, and even then they can be an ass. So the tips of the ears still need a bit of coaxing with a turning tool, but unlike certain other designs, looking at you Sylveon, they're a lot easier to trim, clip, and look cute. I'm actually planning on making a short video for each EV charm, focusing on embroidery, uh, charm making, applique, that sort of thing. So if you're interested, subscribe to this channel. Or you can sign up to my Patreon, or my Coffee, and you can get early access to the videos, access my other posts, tips and tricks, and vote for what you want to see next. 
thank you so much for watching take care and goodbye